Patterson and Potatoes. The Man from Ironbark by Banjo Patterson. It was the man from Ironbark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park, he wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. And then at last, in sheer despair, he sought a barber's shop. He shaved my beard and whiskers off, I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney toff up home in Ironbark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash, he smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note and keen at repartee. He laid the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. When he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, here's a lark. Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Ironbark. There were some gilded youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. To them the barber gave the wink, his dexter eyelids shut. I'll make this bloomin' yokel think his bloomin' throat is cut. And as he soaped and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. I suppose the flats are pretty green up there in iron bark. A grunt was all reply he got. He shaved the bushman's chin. He made the water boiling hot and dipped the razor in. He raised his hand, his brow grew black. He paused a while to gloat, then slashed the red-hot razor back across the victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin it made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, that man from Iron Bark. He fetched a wild up country yell might wake the dead to hear, and though he knew his throat full well was cut from ear to ear, he staggered gamely to his feet and faced his murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog, I'm beat. One hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark. But you'll remember all your life the man from Iron Bark. Then lifting up his hairy paw with one tremendous clout, he landed on the barber's jaw and knocked the barber out. He set to work with nail and tooth, he made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gilded youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while his throat he held to save his vital spark. And murder, bloody murder, yelled the man from Iron Bark. A peeler man who heard the din came in to see the show. He tried to run the bushman in, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke, he said, "'Twas all in fun. "'Twas just a little harmless joke, a trifle overdone. "'A joke,' he cried, "'by George, that's fine. "'A lively little lark. "'Like to catch that murdering swine some night in iron bark. "'Now while round the shearing floor the listening shearers gape, "'he tells his story o'er and o'er and brags of his escape.' Them barber chaps what keeps a tote, by George, I've had enough. One tried to cut my bloomin' throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. And whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark, that flowing beards are all the go, up home in Ironbark.